everyone, Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I'm going to show you how to move from Android to iPhone. You can do this with the new iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, or really with any iPhone. You need to start on your Android device. You need to search for the Move to iOS app and download it. We've already done that. And then go ahead and turn on your iPhone and go through the very initial setup, which includes activation, touch ID, passcode. And then you're going to get to this spot right here where you can restore apps and data. And instead of setting up as new or restoring from an I, iCloud or iTunes backup, we're going to go to move data from Android. Now this is a new one in iOS 9. So if you don't see this option, you're going to have to update your phone before you can do this. So I'm going to choose move data from Android. And over here you see I've opened the moved iOS app. I'm going to hit continue and I'm going to agree to my terms and conditions. Over here, I'm going to hit continue. It's going to give me a code. Hit next, and I'm going to enter my code. So 81535697766. And now the two devices are going to connect to each other so that we can move between these two devices. So now you see they've connected, and they're actually connected by Wi Fi. They're not connected by any physical means. This is going to transfer wirelessly and it's going to move a variety of our information from Android over to iPhone. This can take a little while, so we won't watch the entire process, but during this preparation stage it's going to figure out what we can move and it's going to give us some options. So we'll come back once that's available. So some of the things that we can choose to move over is our Google account, bookmarks, messages, contacts, and camera rolls. So we're going to be able to transfer a lot of our information right from Android to iPhone. Now it's not going to move our apps, but what we need to do is tap next and then we'll get this basically status that's going to let us see how long it's going to take and it's going to transfer. Make sure that you don't turn these devices off while this is happening and you may have to wait a little while. This is going to happen over Wi-Fi again so it can be kind of slow. You'll see we have a progress bar on both devices. We'll come back when this completes and show you what you need to do then. After a short while, all of your data will move over and your iPhone will complete the setup process by putting everything where it needs to be. Over here, you're going to see that some items were not copied. This includes purchased apps and media and media that's saved within apps. So not everything is gonna go over manually. You may need to go in and re-log in, download the Google Play app on iPhone, re-download some of your social media apps and pull back down and connect to other apps. So you'll need to do some of that. You can recycle your Android phone, which basically means you can trade it in for money at an Apple store. You're probably gonna get better money or better value if you go to another place or if you sell this on your own. You can hit done over here and it'll drop you out of the app. And then on your iPhone, you just need to wait for Apple to finish that setup. Once that's all done, you can hit continue setting up iPhone. And here's where you'll basically sign in with your Apple ID. If you don't have one, you're gonna to need to create one. If this is your first time using an Apple device, then you definitely don't have one. Go ahead and fill that out and go through the rest of the setup. You can head over to GotToBeMobile.com and check out more on how you can switch from Android to iPhone.